we have another very very interesting verse of the Quran Allah says Jesus may peace be upon him warned his people and reminded them that Allah is going to send you a comforter to come Allah will send you a man who will continue my message that you should worship Allah alone you know the laws of jurisprudence might differ but the laws of belief have not differed from the time of Adam right to the end the belief in the Almighty the maker the belief in the messengers the belief in the books the belief in the angels the belief in good and bad is from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala the belief in the last day and the resurrection all that all the messengers came with exactly the same message ditto but when it comes to the laws of jurisprudence what is permissible what is prohibited how to pray how not to pray what to do what not to do in terms of jurisprudence that differed with the differing of time and Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam came with that which encapsulated absolutely everything we need right up to the end of time so Allah says when Isa remember he told his people Jesus told his people O children of Israel I am a messenger unto you and I confirm the message of the Torah that is between my hands and I'm giving you good news of a messenger who is going to come after me whose name shall be the praised one subhanallah Allah says when the clear signs came to them later on they said this is magic may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protect us and grant us goodness so Jesus may peace be upon him warned his people and gave them glad tidings at the same time of a messenger to come after he was known as a comforter and he was known as the bearer of praise the praised one you take a look at Muhammad is from the root of Ahmad Hamida to praise so he is the praised one and he came with exactly the same message as what the Christians are supposed to be following and this is why we tell them read the Quran without blinkers read the Quran and see the message in there and take your time read it cover to cover when Najashi the Negus of Abyssinia was faced with some of the companions Jafar ibn Abi Talib and the others they went to him and they told him we are coming from Mecca there is a man who has you know who is a Nabi and so on and so forth so the Kuffar of Quraysh had also decided to send a little delegation there and Najashi on the Negus of Abyssinia which is now roughly where Ethiopia is he asks he says what do they say because these people said you know you believe in Jesus these people speak a very grave lie against Jesus so he asked the question what do you say about Jesus so the Sahaba radiallahu anhum who were there at the time Ja'far ibn Abi Talib and the others recited this verse the opening verses of Surah Maryam regarding Jesus and everything I mentioned today most of it is in those verses so he started to cry who was crying the king of Abyssinia the Negus according to some narrations his name was Ashama and he was crying these tears are mentioned in the Quran the tears are mentioned in the Quran and he looked at these people he says this is the truth regarding Jesus it's exactly who he was he was a slave of Allah he was a worshiper of Allah he was not a God nor was he part of God nor was he a son of God amazing and he believed it's reported when he passed away the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wasallam read janaza al ghaib in his absence whilst in Medina Munawwara and said there is one of our brothers who has passed away today in the in Abyssinia and we'd like to read janaza may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us forgiveness